Hey guys, so a really quick one on degassing your ultrasonic cleaner. This is something I've not seen anyone speak about on YouTube, but it's really important for the ultrasonic cleaner to be able to do the job properly. There is air in the water, gas in the water when we first put it in, and what can happen is if you don't remove the gas, the effectiveness of the ultrasonic cleaner is uh, reduced drastically. Some machines, this one included, comes with a feature of degassing and it will essentially run for five seconds, stop for three, and that pause allows the air to come up, dissipate, and uh, it takes about five minutes to degas the machine. If you haven't got that feature, really you want the temperature as high as you can go, run it for a full cycle, 15, 20 minutes, and that's gonna get the gas out. So you may just find that the first time you put your fresh water in there and you're wondering why it's not doing a brilliant job on cleaning, that could very well be it. So if you want to, degas the machine properly, run it for a full cycle without anything in there, and uh, then stick your parts in there and you should be good to go. Something worth mentioning, haven't heard it spoken about before, here's a quick example of this machine going through the degas process. Those little air bubbles that are all rising up. So there we go, just a little tip. If you find that your ultrasonic cleaner isn't working as well as you'd hoped, it may just be the fact that there's air in there. It's stopping it from being able to effectively clean those parts. If you haven't got the feature, run it through a full cycle with the temperature on and uh, you should be good to go. If you've got the feature, make sure you use it. This only applies to the first time you get water out of the tap. If you're reusing water, then don't worry about it. So there we go, little tip. Hopefully it makes the ultrasonic cleaner a bit more effective than uh, what it currently is. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.